Coming up, we have lots of updates and previews, including an inside look at some of the changes and new merchandise now at sale at the Raider retailers. Plus, the OCHS Drama Guild is preparing for their fall show. Watch as we go behind the scenes to learn more. These stories plus a look at the latest in sports and the, and the weather. It all starts now on The Current OC. From OCTV. Raider Nation's leading news magazine starts now. This is Current OC. Hello and welcome to The Current OC. I'm Vincent Prano. And I'm Kira Riley. It's great to be back, and we have a full show for you today before we enjoy some time off this month. Yes, the school year is in full effect, so you already know there are many events and changes that have taken place. One such event recently brought together the entire student body. It sure did. To kick off homecoming weekend, OCHS held a fall pep rally. The sport teams were recognized and homecoming queen nominees performed, and it was capped off by student versus faculty dodgeball showdown. Here's a closer look. about you, but I've seen many changes around the school this year, one being our new sign-in system. This system has taken a great amount of effort to adjust to, but thankfully we have our very own Taylor Mulford here to share the best way to sign in successfully. With the new sign-in process, there's been lots of questions students have been seeking to be answered. Here's what Dr. New has to say about forgetting your school IDs and what steps will be taken. We understand that, you know, um, you might forget it now and then. We tell everybody to try and treat it like their driver's license and you can't forget your driver's license if you need to drive. But at times if you forget it, you just go to the main office. Our secretary in the main office, Mrs. Berger, will be able to sign you in. Sometimes you just have to reset it. There you go. Keep that works. Is there still more coming in with the sign-in process? The next step is that we're going to implement it in every single classroom. So there'll be a device in the classroom and you'll be able to scan into the classroom and scan out of the classroom if you need to go to the restroom or guidance or wherever else you need to go, the nurse or wellness. We also interviewed Mr. Lemaire to ask if tracking the students is an invasion of privacy. We're going to see when you leave a room, where you arrive, and we'll have that record, which is helpful if there's an emergency in the building, let's say, or there's a lockdown and we need to know where students are. We have all that information right on hand. Any school district in the United States, the school is the parent when the students are here. Just like your parents need to know where you're at, we get to know where you're at. From Dr. Nail, treat your IDs like your driver's license. Reporting from Current OC, I'm Taylor Mulford. Thanks, Taylor, for that information. Let's hope the new system is a success. 
Now it's time to talk about Ocean City's Drama Guild. The Guild has been hard at work in rehearsals for the production of Robin Hood. The show is full of jokes, love, and plenty of stage combat too. Elijah Watson spoke to some of the members about their experience and what artists can expect. My name is Ryan Mulraney and I'm playing Robin Hood of Loxley. He's sort of, he's a good guy, but uh, he does it in sort of a roundabout way. He steals from uh, the rich people and then he gives back to the poor. So overall, he's got a great heart. What character do you play in Robin Hood? The Sheriff of Nottingham. Uh, why don't you tell us about him? Robin Hood needs to spend his time trying to take down the Sheriff and uh, his unjust upkeeping of the law. I think that the show is so much fun. The whole cast and crew is having like a blast with creating the show on stage and off stage. Backstage is so much fun as always. It's a really good show. There's so much happening in it. Uh, the show's great. It has a lot of sword fighting. It's kind of like a comedy. It's really enjoyable, and I think a lot of different people um, would like it. Terry, our fight choreographer, she's absolutely incredible. The fight choreo is really cool. We've we've got a, a bunch of different. Uh, uh, weapons to use so we have our sword we have bows and arrows we have bow staff so it's a little bit of everything um, but we really make it all come together it's the first time that we've ever done stage choreography at in, in the guild well, at least in my four years and it's going great the person that teaches it she's amazing and everyone's picking up on it very well the show is november 16th 17th and 18th um, so it's a thursday friday and two day two shows on saturday thanks eli i can't wait for that show now let's talk about the school store. The store is back up and running with plenty of changes for the new school year. With the latest on what's in and what's out, the current OC's DJ Schwartz takes us inside Red Raider Retailers, one of the hidden gems of OCHS. What's up Raider Nation? Let's take a look at what's new in Raider Retailers. Are you hungry? Thirsty? Do you need school supplies? A new year means changes to your school store, so we have you covered on what you can and can't buy. I caught up with Miss Quinn, who oversees the store. She gives us the lowdown on what's for sale. This year, the changes for Raider retailers are, we are no longer selling foods that need to be prepared, and we are also requiring students to come in with a pass during instructional time this year. So the new thing um, would be our new apparel. We're changing up the logo a little bit to kind of freshen up what we have here. Still sweatshirts and sweatpants, but it's just gonna look a little bit different. If you are a returning student, you might notice some missing items. If you are looking for mac and cheese or popcorn, you need to cook up a new plan. So we offer a variety of things. We offer drinks, snacks, um, school supplies if needed, hats, apparel. On the topic of changes, school store hours are a little different this year. So the store is open quite a bit. Um, we have our hours posted outside, and the main times that we are closed are flex and lunch. Hey, Red Raiders, if you're looking for new apparel, make sure to stop by the school store and see what gear they have in stock. I'm DJ Schwartz with the Kern OC. Thanks, DJ, for giving us that inside look. The merch is looking great. Now it's time to talk about most people's favorite thing right now, sports. Here's Logan with a look of what's going on. Thanks guys, we're kicking things off with soccer. The OC boys and girls soccer teams had dominating seasons this fall. The girls led the way by capturing the Cal Championship. They beat EHC 1-0 in double overtime. The girls went to the playoffs as a top seed in the group three and made it all the way to the finals. Down 2-0 to Shawnee in the championship match, OC fought back to tie it thanks to goals by Brooke Libran and Ashley Rhodes. But despite some solid chances, OC lost in overtime 3-2 to end their season. The Red Raiders posted an impressive 21-2 record thanks to seniors McKenna Chisholm, Zoe Lappin, and Rhodes. Naomi Nwehi led the team in goals with 28. As for the boys' team, their season ended in similar fashion. They also suffered a heartbreaking overtime loss to Shawnee in the third round of the Group 3 playoffs. Here's the boys in action against Washington Township during the Coaches' Cup. With lots of ups and downs this season, the boys ended with a record of 14-7 and, and finished top four in the Coaches' Cup as well as the Group 3 playoffs. Wade Hudak led the team with 22 goals in the season. Kyle Lindsay finished with eight, while Colin Bowman had a team high in four assists. From soccer to football, Ocean City season came to an end with a playoff thriller against Hampton. After beating Hampton in the final week of the regular season, the Red Raiders had a rematch with the Blue Devils in the first round of playoffs. In the playoff battle, OC relied on running back Duke Gunther, who had two touchdowns. John Moyer added a 92-yard kickoff return touchdown to take the lead in the third quarter. 
But against all odds, Hamilton scored on a game-winning touchdown with just seconds left to be OC 23-22. Even with the bittersweet loss, the football team had a great year from their seniors, including Duke Gunther, John Moyer, Nick Layton, Justin Gooden, and Ryder Hay. One final note, congratulations to the boys and girls cross-country team. They both won South Jersey Group three titles and had impressive runs in the state meet. Next up for them is the meet of champions. Good luck to all our runners. That's a wrap for sports. Back to you guys. Wow, it sure looks busy in the world of sports, but let's see how the weather is going to play in this upcoming week. With our short break coming up, many want to know what the weather can be for the expected days off from school. Bringing us the weather is the current OC's very own Gavin Alexander. So Gavin, tell us what the forecast has for us. Well, Vincent and Kira, Kira, thank you. As you can see, we have some light clouds rolling in through our region. It should pick up some humidity, but it shouldn't be raining on us anytime soon. As you can see for today's forecast, it should be around 71 degrees. The humidity should be around 58% and the winds are going to be pushing around 9 miles per hour. In our regional temperatures, uh, our surrounding areas, including Philly, is at 62 degrees, Millville at 68, and the water temp sitting at 58, so it's pretty cold. The tide is going to be high around 325 today. Looking at our next upcoming week for the break, it should be pretty sunny. Friday is going to be a slight chance of rain. It's going to be light, but the rest of the week should be sunny. Monday, Tuesday, upcoming into the new school week, should have a little bit of light rain as well. Thanks. Well, thanks, Gavin. So, do you have any plans for this five-day weekend? Well, Thursday is going to be really nice, so I'll probably be skateboarding all day. What about you, Logan? Probably playing Fortnite all day. Right on. Well, that will do it for us on this edition of The Current OC. Remember to log on and catch all of our shows and additional content by visiting oc-tv.org. And we're also on social media at OCNJTV, so be sure to give our page a like and follow us there too. Thanks for watching.